to us. Okay, changing gears here. The attorney for the Douglas County judge arrested by Atlanta police last Thursday believes newly released cell phone video will help prove her innocence. Judge Christina Peterson faces a misdemeanor battery against an officer charge and a felony count of obstructing an officer. 11 Live Streets of Bulls has a breakdown of the latest video in the case. <laughs> Douglas County Judge Christina Peterson's attorney says it's not just about the police body camera footage released Friday, but also what happened before Atlanta police showed up to Red Martini Lounge in Buckhead Thursday. She didn't even know the officer was there. Arrington believes Peterson, who is a probate judge, was too distracted to notice. In the video, you can see commotion outside of the lounge. A man is seen punching a woman who identifies herself as Alexandria Love several times. You then see Judge Christina Peterson come into the frame, appearing to try to break up the fight. The law allows you to protect others. When Atlanta police arrive, according to arrest warrants, Peterson is accused of striking an officer with a closed fist. She's then put in handcuffs. On Friday morning, Atlanta police said the body camera footage wouldn't be released until the case is adjudicated, but then released the video Friday night. However, police won't comment on the change, though a spokesperson with APD did confirm they're investigating the man accused of assaulting love. Body camera footage also shows the sitting judge later cursing at the arresting officer and refusing to identify herself. It's illegal to drink and drive. It is not illegal to go somewhere and have a drink or two. Peterson's conduct in the courtroom has been previously questioned, and a case is currently before the state Supreme Court to decide if she's committed judicial misconduct. Douglas County officials tell me there have been numerous complaints about Peterson's conduct in the courtroom, but whether indicted in this most recent case or not, the decision on her employment will come down to the Georgia Judicial Qualifications Commission. I don't know how any of that would be relevant to what occurred the other night. Arrington says he's focused on making sure his client's charges are dismissed, and he believes this newest video is step one and has turned it over to the district attorney. They will see that Judge Peterson's role was not that of an offender and that she never should have been arrested. In Douglas County, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.